Hey my lovelies, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. Guys, once again, I always appreciate when you spend a part of your day with me and I hope you're all well. Guys, on today's segment of Memories of Macedonia, I'm going to be making something that's very rustic, something that the farmers would have done, and it's maybe a lost recipe. And I love recipes like this. Guys, today we're making um, a bzar ala uhalu. And basically what that is, is a sweet and sour pepper. These are fried peppers. What gives them the sweetness is the pepper themselves. And the sour comes from acidity. So without further ado, let's get in the kitchen, make this really quick, very rustic, beautiful dish that has all the flavors of the Mediterranean. Let's go. Aya. <laughs> kitchen countertop. As usual, all of the amounts I'm using will be below. Guys, the ingredients are really simple. This is a lovely rustic meal. Right, so what I have are some beautiful long peppers. You can, uh, eat a piece of parsley on that. Um, you can use um, shepherd peppers, bell peppers, whatever you fancy. Um, I just wouldn't use hot peppers for this recipe because it's this has given us the sweet element. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you how to do all of these, but basically you lob off the top and you should be able to pull the seeds out. You've seen me do this before, guys. And any ribs. Give it a tap, get rid of the seeds. And what I do is the bottom of the pepper has natural segments. Um, three or four, depending on the sex of the pepper. And I just follow those lines, those natural guidelines, and then you're left with uh, a segment. What you want to do is remove the white pith, like so. Just discard that in my garbage bag. All right, then what you're going to do is cut these into strips. That big piece on the bottom, cut it off, eat it. Mmm, they're so sweet. If you want, cut those in half. It doesn't matter, guys. You can keep them long. I'm going to continue. Mmm, sorry. I'm going to continue with this and I'll bring you back when they're all done. Alright guys, I have on my pan on a medium high heat and this is the time you want to use your really good olive oil because you want that taste to come out too, which is also fruity and sweet. So go ahead and be generous with your olive oil. The pan, as I said, medium high heat. And we're going to go ahead and start adding our peppers. What I'm looking for are the peppers to get soft. A little bit of color is good if you want. But let them cook down a little bit. And I'll show you what we do then. So guys, while our peppers are going in the background, what I got here are some garlic cloves, whole garlic cloves. What you want to do is just give them a smash, leaving the skin on. Okay, so again, leaving the skin on. And what that will do is these will roast nice and sweet in the pan without being overpowering garlicky. So I'll continue with these and I'll show you what we do with them. Oh guys, it smells gorgeous in here. Bellissimo. The smell of peppers are just absolutely beautiful. They're lovely and sweet. Now, my peppers are starting to get a little bit soft. A few of them are making a popping sound as the skins get a little bit of color, which is good, it's fine. So now we're going to go ahead and pop in those garlic cloves 
that we smashed. If you don't like garlic, guys, <laughs> maybe leave it out. But I'm telling you, this way, they come out really nice and sweet. If you ever had roasted garlic, you know what I'm talking about, right? Right, give it another little splash of good olive oil. And let this garlic roast, even your peppers get a little bit more soft. Guys, my peppers are getting so aromatic. I can smell the garlic roasting. They're getting softer. And it's just lovely in here. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I have some olives I'm going to toss in. How many olives do you use? Up to you. Use a good handful. And something that Malta is well known for are kapar or capers. These are my homemade capers, guys. I should link the video below. So, I'm going to toss these in. Oh, that garlic smells so good. It's not overpowering, guys. It's like a roasted garlic smell. All right, we'll continue to let this go. And I'll be back. All right, guys. At this point, you can actually remove the little skins from your garlic. See how they just fall out. The garlic is roasted and soft. Won't burn. I've already removed a few. Just pop it out. Easy. Right. Looking good. Smelling good. So we have the nutty from the garlic. We have the salty from the capers and the olives. Sweet from the peppers. So, we need to go ahead and add our sour element. Oh, that garlic stick butter. So, I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil. Think of this like a salad in a way, guys. Then we're gonna add vinegar. Red wine vinegar, or whatever you have on hand, just uh, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar is good. Um, you could use plain vinegar if you want it, guys. All right. We're going to let this bubble away for a bit. In the meantime, we're going to give this dish one more element. All right, guys, I moved my peppers over to the back there to have my grill pan out here and what I got here is some Maltese bread. If you can't find Maltese bread it's very difficult unless you actually live in Malta. Use a good sourdough bread. What I'm going to do is give it, this is a dry pan, just a little drizzle of olive oil and set it in the pan. You can do this in a grill pan like I am. You can do it in the oven. Give it a toast um, under the broiler or whatever you like. Um, on the barbecue, whatever floats your boat. I just wouldn't do it in the toaster uh, with the olive oil, okay? And again, I'll drizzle a bit on top. We'll let this toast up. And I'll bring you back. Alright guys, I got my bread all grilled up. I have a raw garlic clove, which I'm just going to rub. Don't want any big pieces on there. Make sure you get the crusts too, around the edges. Oh, you can smell that aroma right away. All right, we have our toast. 
Let's salt a little bit onto our peppers. I've tasted this, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you, those sweet peppers with that vinegary, sour, oh my word, gorge, gorgeous. Plate up from here into our little dish. Mm. Just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Gorgeous. And then I want some of that juice. That lovely juice. Oh, yes. Pour it on the toast. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you get some in the pan. And we'll get some of our peppers. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, enjoy this beautiful Mediterranean dish. It's just screaming with flavor, screaming with aroma. You're gonna love it. You saw how easy it was to put together. If you're vegetarian, you can make this into a meal. You can also serve this as a side with some meat. Um, as a matter of fact, I have some smoked Maltese sausage, which I'm gonna have with this and call it a day. Guys, thank you so much for watching this segment of Memories of Malta here at the Euro Cooking Canuck. Until we meet again, be good to yourself and to each other. Look at that. Oh, grazie, Hafna. We'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.